Don't talk again. Don't talk? Not yet. Not till I'm ready. Looks like I'm ready. Talk! Talk, goddammit! <laughs> oh, it's recording. It's recording. Yes, yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Nabi and that's my husband Josh right here. What's up y'all? <laughs> so um, a few days ago we went to Disneyland to celebrate our two year anniversary. I'm sure you guys saw the vlog already. But in today's video I'm gonna show you guys how to do your makeup for Disneyland. Cause you are gonna go for a long time. You wanna have a long wear makeup. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys on today's video. Also what to wear, like how to wear. Cause this is winter at this time so it is cold in Anaheim so you wanna layer up so I'm gonna show you guys how to layer what to pack for Disneyland the tips and tricks that we learn along the way and also what did we buy from Disneyland so without any further ado let's just jump right into it but before we go anywhere don't forget to subscribe okay hit the little notification button that gets uh, all over your phone all the time <laughs> she puts a video so now let's get to it so first starting moisturizing my face i'm taking my neutrogena bright boost gel cream and applying it all over my face and then moving to makeup i'm gonna do my brows first today and i'm taking my nyx fill and fluff brow pencil it's the easiest and quick way to do your brow and it stay put on the all day and that was the whole purpose and i also put some gel like brow gel to make sure they don't move or anything anyways then i'm gonna go ahead and prime my, prime my eyelid and i'm using my covergirl true band concealer it's one of my favorite concealer i'm sure you guys saw me using this thousand times on all of my videos and it's in the shade m100 if you guys haven't tried this concealer you should it's one of the good concealer you have it on the drugstore Anyways, moving to my eyeshadow, I'm taking this Profession Mirage palette and this color doesn't really have names, so I'm pointing out the color I'm taking. Starting with this neutral color on my eyelid and this then this orange color on top of it. I'm just trying to go for a little bit of bright look, so you don't have to use the same palette or the same color I was using. It was just I was trying to go for a little bright and a neutral look. And on my outer V, I'm taking this dark brown color and trying to darken a little bit. And then I'm moving on to I'm taking my concealer and to do a cut crease. And the reason I was doing a cut crease, I was trying to have a bright inner corner. You don't have to do it, it's something I was trying to do. So after my cut crease, I took a neutral color and just laid it, laid it on top to set the concealer. And then I make sure there is no harsh line between the cut crease and the darkened outer V. Now I'm finishing up with my eyes using my ABH liquid liner. I didn't want to go lashes or anything because I will be out there for a long time. I don't want my lashes to fly away with one of the right. Anyways, for my primer, I'm taking my e.l.f. Pretty Primer and I'm only applying it on my T-zone. Now moving to my foundation, I'm taking my Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Foundation. And using a damp beauty sponge, I'm applying it on my face. Now I'm taking my Urban Decay All Lighting Setting Spray and I'm spraying it on my face. And again with the beauty sponge, I'm pushing the spray on my face to make sure my foundation doesn't move throughout the day and it stay put on. Now I'm going to move on to my concealer. I'm taking the same CoverGirl concealer and I'm using it on my usual places. Um, under my eye, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin and my forehead. And I'm blending it with the same beauty sponge. And now to set my under eye and my full face, I'm taking my Maybelline Film Me Loose Powder in the shade Light Medium number 20. And I'm using the same powder to do a reverse contour. And now I'm taking my Maybelline City Bronzer number 300 and I'm bronzing off my face. Now for my blush, I'm taking my Wet n Wild blush in the shade Mellow Wine. 
again i'm taking my urban decay on lighting setting spray and i'm setting my face and moving on to my highlighter i'm taking my maybelline master chrome highlighter i wanted to go for a gold highlighter since i was doing a red lipstick i think the red lipstick goes really good with the gold highlighter and this highlighter was popping for me now I'm taking the same highlighter in my inner corner and my brow bone. Moving on to the eyeshadow palette, I'm taking the same color. I used it on my top lid. I'm using it on my bottom lash line as well. And for my mascara, I'm taking my Tarte Big Ego Mascara and I'm curling my lashes. Like I said, I didn't want it to wear a false lashes, so I made sure I curled it well. And now for lipstick, I'm taking one of my favorite red lipstick. It's the one from Smashbox and it's in the shade Pouse. Like you're going to Disneyland, you cannot go without a red lipstick. And now finish up my makeup. I'm using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray one last time and I'm setting my face. So now let's just start with what to wear, how did we layer for this winter time. So, tips and tricks. We have, let's talk about Star Wars first, okay? Um, I know there's a lot of people, big fan of Star Wars, and they they just opened the rides, like mm -hmm. like last Friday or something like that. Yeah, not that's what, that's, I think that's, that's mm -hmm. what they told me. And uh, there was two places that we couldn't get in for a reason because you needed to have a reservation okay yeah. i don't know too much about the first one that i stopped but i do know this as soon as you get into disneyland as soon as you get your tickets as soon as you you go in uh in disneyland you are able to um so far as what they told me okay you're able to like join a group in Star Wars. You will see all of this in the in the app. So far as what I know, you'll see it in the app about about Star Wars and and join a group right away. As soon as they open the park, as soon as you're in there, you start like trying to join part of a group of Star Wars, and that's one of them. The other one, there's another one that they say you have to make a reservation. I don't know too much about it. So before you go to Disneyland and you want to see you know stuff the about star wars new one. research new. about it yeah i would say research about it mm -hmm. um uh, call someone you know like in disneyland like the service or whatever and call them and ask how you can get the reservations of of uh, both areas and stuff like that but the cool thing is that there's one that you don't need to do none of that and it's it's pretty cool it was fun <laughs> i loved it yeah, yeah that one was pretty cool you I get your called, um i don't know but you drive the ship uh, uh, you the drive the big ship, you know, and yeah. it's kind of like a similarity. So, you have to work with five other people. Like six, yeah. you are six in one group. Doesn't yeah. have to, you don't have to go as a group. They will make you a group. Yeah, it's six in group, right? Yeah, yeah it's six, six in, in a group. Groups. Two yeah. pilots, two engineers, and two shooters. Oh, yeah. that, was, that was really funny. We were the engineers. <laughs> they kind of like doing the buddy thing. <laughs> you know, it made me feel like we're I was... Engineers? Yeah, we yeah, were engineers. engineers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It made me feel like, you know, I was certified as an engineer. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't do nothing. Yeah, and didn't do anything. Here, but here, and then the else. the pilot oh. ones is fun too. So mm -hmm. if, if you guys, take the yeah, pilot. I would say if if you guys want to have a good first experience, take the pilot. I think or it's pretty the, cool. Or the engineer, but do not take or the, the shooter. Engineer. Do yeah. not take the shooter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The shooter you only mess with one button. <laughs> okay, so Star Wars is done. Okay, lockers. Let's talk about lockers. Um, we took stuff that we we didn't want to carry you didn't want to carry too much stuff 
So we went knowing about the lockers, which is good because. Mm -hmm. uh, no, so, but the thing is that, like, let's be real, you want to take stuff that you need. And, yeah. like, a lot of time you don't want to carry anything because you're on the line, you're on the ride, you don't want to lose anything. Yep. But that's the thing we don't want to worry about because there's lockers. <laughs> lockers. <laughs> like, yeah. we, we, there was a 10% chance it's going to rain. We heard it might rain. So we took, like, what do you call it? Umbrella. Umbrellas. We took, what do you call those things? Punches. Uh, we punch, took punches. punches. Like, you know, we took a lot of stuff, but of course, we're not gonna carry that. We have to go to the right, so mm -hmm. there was lockers. I'm gonna record here. Let's go put our backpacks away. <laughs> All right. What is Easy that? wheezy. So, looks like a large is 10 bucks, and seven is the standard. standard. Let's go Let's go, you know what? Let's go check them out real quick before we do anything else. So, you can see, you can tell the difference between the large and the small one. Um, I think you can still fit a backpack in there because people on other videos I've seen, it doesn't look that small, so, but just in case we're gonna get the, the $10 one, the big one. Yeah, yeah. Credit card? Credit card. Slide credit card. Pay with the credit card. Okay, so you're the happiest person on earth, right? Give Go your right card. ahead and swipe your card. Give me your card. Can you oh, does, does it take Apple Pay? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not everything is Apple Pay. Alright, so we're going to pay. Go ahead and swipe the card. Take your, per, your passcode. So we're going to put a passcode that we're going to use for 0, the... 0120. Okay, let's do that. It's not going to help you guys, you know. It's not secret because... It's the it's day we came. Day. Yes, today. <laughs> so, and uh, we got our locker number, right? Mm -hmm. Now, where is it? It is 2303. 2303. Let's call it for 2303. Yay. There we go. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, it's pretty big, right? Yeah. Not bad. Okay. That's pretty big. Let me see. Let's just. Okay, just shoving some bags. She carries some shoes in there. Do you want to some shoes? Even the whole backpack fits in here too. So maybe even like two backpacks. Let's say like two backpacks. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. And two backpacks and all that good stuff. We are. Uh oh, that closed. There we go. You can open it anytime. Very easy with the code. Awesome. That is so fucking awesome. Alright, okay. so that is a locker. We're gonna put our stuff away. And uh okay. we're is gonna it? get get on going. Awesome. Okay now. So now let's talk about the Disney app. Mm -hmm. Sorry guys, I'm looking down because I I wrote I wrote the points and I don't want to miss it. Yeah. Um the Disney app. Okay. I bought the tickets online, and I think it's uh, a great idea, actually. <laughs> buying the tickets online, they're buying them up front over there, okay? Unless, unless, you know, you're gonna buy it in cash, or you're gonna buy it with some gift cards and all of that. Yeah, I, I don't know if you can buy them online with gift cards, I'm but sure if you, you can. yeah, I'm sure you can, yeah, right? I'm sure you but can. if you can, cash. If, if you can, I would say just buy it online. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the Max Pass. It's so far as I saw when I bought it, it's $30 per person. This is my experience, or as far as I know and what I heard too. If you go during the weekend or when the vacation is on, we know the kids are not having school and all of that, you want to have a max pass because mm -hmm. there's a there's limited of max passes too, so that's a good thing. Max passes helps you skip lines and all of that, and also you can go on, on like on a certain time with the Disney app so with the Disney app it has you will show you all the most of the rides there because some of them don't have the max pass some of them are not available for that but it will give you a good amount of, of, of rides that you can take the max pass and it'll tell you look the next one you can take for a max pass is at 315 it's at 330 mm -hmm. uh, 4 for 30 whatever True. and then what you do is you reserve it and you can reserve one ride like 
you cannot go to another ride and try to reserve from there. No, you can only do it once. So you reserve it, and as soon as it hits 4.30 or close, five minutes early, they'll let you in. Mm -hmm. And so there's nobody gonna line or no bullshit. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, you just reserve it. And meantime, you can, like, you know, do walk around, take pictures, or any oh. ride doesn't have any max pass, whatever. You just take those rides, like, do whatever you ha have to do meanwhile. And then when it hits 4.30 or 4.25, as an example, you just go to that area and just get rid of the ride without, you know, making any lines. Mm -hmm. It's it's it makes it very easy. Mm -hmm. It, it sounds it complicated, easy. but it's actually yeah. really, really yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah, it sounds complicated, but I would say you know if you're going to Disneyland, I would say download the app right now and start getting familiar with it. Okay, a little bit here and there. You're not gonna be able to have too much access to it until you get into the Disney. Then you'll be able to see how it really works mm -hmm. and all of that. How uh, you can. Um, make reservations and, and all that stuff. You just play with it in Disneyland, okay? Yeah. If you wanna say cancel that cancel that ride and then go to another one, you can do that as well. You mm -hmm. can just remove it, remove, remove the reservation. You just cannot do two reservations for the same time. Yeah. So just choose the one you want and just choose that. Mm -hmm. If you find something else, cancel the other one and do the other one. That's, right. So that's fine. Also, not only the not only that you can skip the lines, you also can order foods right, that was what on the that. Disney app. Yeah, without yeah. like making any lines or waiting or anything. Right. Yeah, it's good. It's it's pretty cool. It's very easy mm -hmm. too. Um, you can put your credit card in there, and then you know throughout the day, and um, you can you know, just whatever see other like purchases. all the restaurants. You yeah. click on the restaurant, you would see the look menu. At the food. Look at the it has a picture of the food, so you can see what you wanna eat. Mm like whatever it is and then you can on the map you can see what area of the park that restaurant or like the food place is mm -hmm. so like whatever area is close to you or whatever the food you like or whatever it is you just choose it you choose the time you pay for it and you just go and pick up your food it's very be it's very beneficial yeah that's how you convenient. Work. it's very convenient <laughs> yeah it's very it's, convenient, <laughs> it's very convenient. Um, people that have the yearly pass some of the people don't even know about it which something to, to know about it now um let's get to it with something a little bit that i learned which you know i don't have it but you know if for those of you that do have it already the target pass right no the target no. red card mm -hmm. the target red card you, you say five percent <laughs> <laughs> on I, every purchase on every purchase so uh, it's not that bad it's pretty cool because you know what um, you can it's not purchase. sponsored though by Target. It's not, <laughs> not sponsored. We both hated that yeah, yeah, I know. It's not sponsored by Target or anything <laughs> like that. Okay, don't get the wrong idea. Yeah. Um, but the Target, the five percent uh, red card, you can buy the gift card of mm -hmm. Disneyland. And if I'm correct, I don't, I'm not sure. Okay, don't take my word. Find out first. Okay, find out first. You can always call uh, one eight hundred Hotline Disney or something like that. <laughs> And find out if they, up. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the one eight hundred hotline Disney. Hotline. <laughs> so oh when you call, Snow White will be like, "Hello there, <laughs> who would you like to speak to?" <laughs> so, no, but no, no but for real, like you can apply you can, for the target the red card, red card that is a five percent early purchase yeah you buy the disneyland um gift card yeah. and you can buy your ticket with that card so yeah with the are, gift card yeah, yeah so we are saving five percent that's what i'm trying to say yeah not a lot it's, but you know yeah, but for those you of you that do, have it already yeah, yeah like, if you have the target um five red card then just take advantage of it and save you five percent five percent is five percent true true like true on that. food or anything you can mm -hmm. save it um also really cool thing one thing I even told her too. I even told her too. As soon as you go in Disney, you know, I, I you know, for us it was like like lucky to see it. But I was like, hey, look, Mickey's there, Minnie's there, Goofy's there, and no, it was Goofy. Yeah, it was Goofy. Yeah, Goofy. Goofy was there. Everybody was in the front in the morning. So if you get the chance to see them right there right now, take pictures with them because later on throughout the day when you're walking around and all that good stuff, you ain't gonna get a chance to to, to get busy. close to them. Now if you do. And you have he told lucky me, you. <laughs> he told me I hear it. I ignore him. <laughs> 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 I take no 
picture. Yeah. I told her, hey, look, uh, Mickey and Minnie's there. You should go take a picture right now because later. I was like, hey. This is gonna, it's going to be a little bit hard. It's going to be a little bit hard, okay? And uh, yeah, it happened that she wanted to go see Minnie. We go to the house, the little line they had in the house to go see Minnie. Minnie's house? And Minnie's house. And Minnie was right there at the end to take pictures. And we, as soon as we showed up, the girl was like, you know, no, we're not taking anymore, whatever. You know, maybe the person was going to lunch, break, you know. No, or she got tired, told, was about to quit. Me, no, <laughs> Minnie's supposed to go to the uh, main street, that's why. Yeah. And then we went to the Mickey's house. By the time we made, there was a long line for Mickey. Oh, yeah, for Mickey. And I didn't know Mickey was there. Mickey was there. Yeah. People were um, lining to take pictures. That's why it's a long fucking line. It was taking forever. Mm -hmm. And like we said about the reserve thing for your rides, we already had a ride reserve at a certain time. So and the time <laughs> was coming. And I'm like, do I take a picture of Mickey or should I go to ride? Ride or Mickey? I don't like, fuck this. Let's yeah. go to the ride. <laughs> Let's get on the ride. I'll see and Mickey I don't have my picture with Mickey. Yeah. Well, you did get it with. Uh uh, Beauty and the Beast. Because I'm the Beauty. Yeah, yeah, Beauty and the Beast. But it wasn't easy to stop him neither. He kissed me though. <laughs> oh, he did? Yeah, he kissed me on the forehead. Oh. <laughs> like this? <laughs> no, he kissed me. I felt it. <laughs> well, so far, yeah, do that. Take pictures, do whatever it is. If you see them in the middle of the morning and you see go take pictures, do it. That's bad, you know. And also, now, whatever souvenir you guys want to buy, like pins, so like we got pins. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, you have pins? If you get, yeah, I was like, yeah. Okay, yeah. so yeah, whatever souvenir you buy, pain or like whatever it is, gifts for somebody or anything, buy it in the morning. Cause yeah. the thing is that like, which I was like, oh, buy it, whatever, blah blah blah. But throughout the day, you do get tired. You got like, I don't want to go this and this and that. Like, and it got I, busy, uh -huh. and then if you don't buy, guess what? You're gonna regret it. Cause then like, fuck, I didn't buy it. Yeah, I didn't buy it cause you were tired or whatever. But I mean, if if you know, if you if you're good with it, you know, in the last time or the last the last moment where you just want to go and buy it then do it later then cool that's fine but like you know so you want to have that's fine yeah. Like but I was saying, there. yeah but i was saying you know spend your time do a little shopping in the front you know right now get it out of the way and then after that my that's my my way of doing things you know i will say do that and then after that just go have fun and do your thing yeah right how about that let's talk about rights all right let's talk about rights you will have a couple of videos but uh, one of the rights I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't recommend, which I, she told me and I, I didn't listen. You know? Tonto. <laughs> we have that back. Tonto. We have that back and forth, you know. But <laughs> she does I didn't listen to her. I was like, you know what? Let me just let me just get it out of my whatever system. anxious anxious feeling a system. I want to get in there. I want to try it out. And as soon as I was in there, <laughs> this is what happened. Stop. I know, I said. As we leave this long lost community behind, the colorful to enter the is a biological community of coral reefs in warm, shallow waters. It usually takes more than a year for a coral to grow up in the Australia's Great Barrier Reef, which stretches over 2,000 kilometers. But don't miss out any ride from Star Wars. Do not. Oh, they're fun. They're fun. Make sure you yeah. go to Star Wars rides. The new one, the one came it's out to 2020, like you know, a few yeah. weeks ago. You do not want to miss out. That's. It's pretty it's, cool. It's fun. They, everything that walk when you go <coughs> into the land and all that crap. If you're somebody cool. who goes to Disneyland a lot, like you already went to River, but so first thing you wanna do, go there. Mm -hmm. You do not want to miss out. There's no way. Yeah. If you're new, everything's new for you. But if you're not, like you know. Out. Yeah. Alrighty. What we packed to go to Disneyland. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect, but um, just you know some of the things that you think is gonna be necessary to take or not. Okay. So I'm gonna start with uh, the stuff that I took. Okay. I took two bags. I took a backpack for like to carry to carry some of the stuff that we need, um, and I took a pouch, a little pouchy. Nowadays, this is the style. Okay. And uh, as I usually, you know, as says cross. Okay. Cross body bag. Cross body yeah. bag, okay. Has a back pocket in here, so I always just put my cell phone in there, okay. Um, start with what I have outside right here. 
it's a Ziploc bag, okay? You don't have to take it this big. Um, um, I just, I, I had these uh, last minute, I took it. I should, I could have bought smaller ones, but you can buy smaller ones or big ones. And the Ziploc bags is the best to store your undies and socks, yeah. wet socks, okay? Here, uh, if you have anything wet, you can put it in there and then leave it in the locker, save it, okay? Let's and then know, change, you're gonna you know? Water rise yeah, your... whatever rise is gonna be wet, you know, mm -hmm. walking around. But you could just uh, store it here and put it later, put your dry stuff, okay? Do the water thing that you wanna do first, and then after that, go, uh, if you don't wanna walk around wet, if you don't mind, you wanna go wet, fine by me. Other than that, Ziploc bags, that works for that. Another reason is, if you're gonna get on a water ride, you can put your phone in here. Put your phone, AirPods, uh, you know, whatever uh, electronic you have, and, and then put it in the, you know, put it in the pouch. To make sure it's not gonna get wet, okay? Um, a pen, you know. To perfect, circle the maps. You know? <laughs> or whatever it circle, is. circle the maps, cross out whatever you want, whatever it is, you know, a pen. I don't know, it just comes in handy. Somebody says, hey, I need a pen. Hey, sir, I got you right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I had this little sprayer thing. It's like for men, and it's it's a good smell. Psst, psst, ah. Right there, so a lady came for like like a dollar or like Close a do like a dollar or two in Target, or you go to travel stuff. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in there. You don't have to take everything, but you know, I found this and I was like, you, you know what? I'm gonna nice carry this just Hello. in case. Yeah, I'm gonna carry this just in case. I sprayed it here and there. Okay. Um, you're gonna carry a portable charger. Carry a portable charger nowadays. We have portable chargers. We have um phones that you know have for the the case is a portable charger which is really cool um i'll probably put the link down below for you guys but there's my i have an iphone 6 plus it was just like 30 bucks this is just 30 bucks oh my the god case not the phone yeah the case the charging case what a big difference what a life-changing because my phone, I used it almost all day and then, you know, as it was running out of battery, all I did is, you know, click this little button right here, hold it for a couple seconds, and then it turns on and starts charging my phone. That is super awesome. And it charged my phone full that, you know, it lasted for the whole night until I get home, call an Uber if I need it, whatever it is. Um, all throughout the day, because you're going to be using your phone as well for Disney app and all the good stuff. So this i would definitely recommend it okay this is for an iphone 6 plus but you can find for an iphone uh plus 7 and the new one Any other x iPhones. 11 pro um, um other than that on the backpack let's go to the backpack the backpack i just carried one backpack this is actually my niece's backpack all righty put likes and everything okay i take a beanie if it's gonna be a cold day take a beanie okay um at the, it does at get the cold. Night it's yeah, cold. It, it does get cold at night. Okay, take layers. Alrighty. Uh, you don't have to carry your stuff. Remember, you can carry it throughout the day. And when it starts getting cold, go back to your locker and, and get your extra layers that you're gonna use. You know, if you're gonna use two boxers, go ahead. Okay, Beanie. And uh, we took umbrella. Umbrella. So we took I small like umbrella. Yeah. It's gonna rain. So it's, it's without it was gonna rain. It didn't rain. Thank Lucky. God it didn't. Yeah, I think God it didn't. But if it did, we were prepared, okay? And we had two little small ones, all right? All of this was left in the locker. We don't even really need it, okay? Um, extra chargers, extra chargers, okay? I already said extra socks, okay? I have my extra uh, no-show socks. I love no-show socks. Uh, pouch, you know, the pouch. I We brought this. Um, I, uh, we got that at Target, okay? Ooh. You can get it any anywhere, but I'm not a big fan of it. All right. It's uh, just for that yeah, day. Yeah, just to be in honest, case. Just in case. I don't, don't want to get so wet on my ride. Yeah, you don't know how how bad it gets. So that's the pouch. If anything, don't worry about it. They sell pouches as well at Disney. But we were just prepared for it. Okay. Now we took. I took a little white piece, but I wasn't really carrying these around. But I took them just in case and I use it for men. In case and for men and for women as well. Deodorant. deodorant don't forget you want to take your deodorant you know you walk around a lot you do this you move that you do a lot of movement and then you know have you know you don't the person somebody's not like what's the smell it smells like shit in here um, so you don't want to be that person so this deodorant comes in handy as well okay the deodorant and uh, let's see snacks we didn't take too many snacks because 
you know, uh, I mean, for us it wasn't really but, that much of ne necessary. But like the people doesn't have. You f did see the earthquake? <laughs> but you're gonna have a couple snacks to get rid of the line's gonna be long, you're gonna be tired, you might get hungry, you don't wanna stop for food and waste your yeah, time. Yeah, you want yeah. the Disneyland to enjoy the ride. So have little snacks that you can eat it up. If you get, do get hungry, you can eat it on that line when mm -hmm. you're waiting for your ride, especially the ride that doesn't have max pass. Yeah, and if you don't have max pass at all, you're gonna be standing on the line for an 45 minutes to hour, 30 minutes you to hour. You're so kind of hungry snacks. and all that good stuff. So snacks, it's good. You can take snacks. And here's another thing. Don't don't worry. If you know, even though we put it in the locker and everything, if you want to carry your backpack, that is fine. If you feel comfortable carrying your backpack for whatever reason, that is fine. A lot of people still carry their backpacks, especially you know when they have they have kids and stuff. They're carrying backpacks. They're moving mm, up yeah. strollers. There's moving up strollers. Everything. So don't worry about it. If you feel comfortable carrying it, go Before ahead. It. <laughs> Go ahead and carry it, but I don't like carrying shit, so I left it in the locker. Uh, now let's talk about her stuff. So that's my bag right here. This is cute, right? <laughs> okay, so I got first start with this bag. I got it from Amazon. Like I matched everything, my headband, my bags, and everything. So let's start with the water bottle. Matching. I, yeah, I took everything matching. <laughs> <laughs> I took a water bottle with me because you don't want to buy water or anything. There's a lot of places you can ask for water or a restaurant, you can fill it up or fountain, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I took my water bottle. We took one, I know we both can share it, so that we took our water bottle. So you're not spending money on water because it's getting expensive. And yeah, then we t I took bandage cause you know you're gonna be walking a lot you might get blisters so I got a bandage with me just in case then I took a lotion with me just in case cause I do tend to get a lot dry and you're gonna be I took some pills like some painkillers cause you know my head hurt a lot <laughs> I get a lot of headaches so for that I took this one next thing I took with me is a uh, deodorant oh sorry <laughs> That's my favorite deodorant, so I took this one. Don't forget about your deodorant. And then, yeah. Then I took a facial mist. I didn't take any makeup or anything, but then you know, I like to spray because you get tired and everything. So I like to spray on my face. I took a facial mist with me just in case, which I didn't end up using it. My makeup stayed put all day long. But anyways, let's move into it. Then I took floss. Flossing. Stop. Pretty cool. This You can find it in the travel section as well for like dollar or less I'm not quite sure but flossing after eating whatever it is you put in your mouth and it gets stuck in your teeth this helps a lot okay then also we mentioned that you want to smell good so I took a small bottle of perfume and I took a hand sanitizer right here I took my hand sanitizer with me and I had this little thing that I you can hang it on your neck or you can put it on your backpack like the way I did sorry baby um, so I put my ticket pass. <laughs> so I took my ticket passes on this. <laughs> what are you doing? So I took my ticket passes on this. You can just scan it. There is a thing that you can hang it on your neck, but I ended up having it like this. I think it's really cute. And then also, of course, I took a few of my batteries. Cause come on, I took my batteries. Oh, yeah. for camera, for yeah, uh, for my camera. And all I took that. my camera. Extra I took my portable charger. Cause they're gonna be on your phone a lot. Cause yeah. when you're on the on you on the line or you take. It's doing Snapchat, Instagram, Boomerang, yeah. whatever the fuck you are doing. You're gonna be on your phone, so make sure you take your portable charger. Do not forget about it. All right, now let's talk about what we bought at Disney. Ta-da! <laughs> and uh, look here. Yay! Uh, my 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 Disney Donald Duck. <laughs> and um, of course, you know the pins. We bought the pins, but we bought them in Disney. But this one, I bought it, you know, before I went to Disney. My bag. Okay, so I'll go dig into it. Whatever comes on my hand first. Okay, it's a small bag. We, I got. Oh yeah, I forgot about it. <laughs> Some hair clips. It was only how much was it? It was ten dollars. So you know, just put it like this. I don't want to take my hairband, but it's pretty much just like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, I'm gonna show you later on a video. I might wear them. So like you know, after I'm not gonna have this. Put one here and one there. It looks pretty cute. So I got this for me. I got this for me. 
got some magnets. For the fridge. Yeah. Yeah, so I got this magnet right here. And for my husband. <laughs> That's him. So I got these two magnets. This is really cool. Like, you know, when I have some souvenirs, then we went to Disneyland. I'm a big fan of all of that. I don't know why. That's, I like them. <laughs> That's why he can do the vibe. <laughs> And then he got me a pen right here. So that's the pen of Mickey and Minnie getting married. It's called another anniversary. I tried to look for one with a pen with anniversary. There was nothing. There was only happy birthday. So we got this. And then I got this. The Donald Duck. It's pretty cool. And the last. You didn't got it. I got it for you. Yeah. <laughs> last but not the least. Okay, I was going to show you at the end. Like that. I haven't even opened it. I left it to open it on that video. Okay, it's packed. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is what it looks like. Okay, so oh my god, they packed it like. They packed it good. Yeah. They packed it good. We won't break your shit. Fuck, they did pack it good. And once you, once you um, buy whatever, and if you're still going to go around the park, you, you still can. Remember, you can put it in the locker, as long as it fits. Oh, it's done, done, done. You ready? <laughs> you're going to see it? You can try to see what did I buy. Yay! 2020, 20, <laughs> a photo frame. Because it took a lot of nice pictures, so I wanted to yeah. frame it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, like it's a, it's cool. a memory. When we went to 2020, there's some um, mini and Mickey, and we can put our pictures right here. I think it's pretty cool. We can put it by our nightstand or the frame right behind him. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, where was that? The, light? Yeah. yeah. We can put it right there, like wherever it is, because we, we had a, a lot of cool pictures. So that yeah. goes right there. And it was only what? $24.99. So that's pretty much it you guys. I really hope you guys liked today's video. What did we buy and our tips and tricks and whatever we talked about. I hope it helped you guys. Every, every All the information that we gave you. And um, if you guys have any uh, better... That you've been in Disneyland and you know you know how to get around the, the characters to take pictures or anything. Any tips any and tricks tips for and tricks you have. everybody to know. For us to know for our next Comment. trip that we take uh, mm -hmm. to Disneyland again. Please comment, down, comment down, below. down below so Let us know. we can know and people are all subscribers they yeah. can know to just help all of us out. And also if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out any other future videos and we'll see you guys on our next videos. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <And you. laughs>